Hey, how's it going? I uh, hope you had a good time with today's workout. We've still got to get it done, so we're going to go and do it in a minute. Um, yeah, good to see some good scores are going up for that. Um, today, or actually for tomorrow, we're going to go over the workout. It's going to be event two from the Rogue Invitational, and we're going to make a little bit of a modification, but we're going to use a similar kind of format. So let's go through what we're going to do for that one. This is the fun one. Yeah, this is the fun one. <laughs> okay. So warm up wise, we're gonna get started with a 400 meter run. Once we've done that 400 meter run, uh, we're gonna do 25 good mornings, okay? So just making sure we keep a nice proud back position and get the weight into the hamstrings and glutes before standing up forcibly. We're then gonna do 20 scapula push-ups. So getting into your front support position and then really try and get as much travel as you can through those shoulder blades. Try and get your chest as close to the ground and then as far away as you can. Once you go through 20 of those, we're going to go 15 air squats. And just again, as same as today, just start to warm that squat up, start to build in the depth, trying to focus on where your weight is, try and keep it through the heels. Okay, once we've done 15 of those, we're going to go through 10 PVC pipe pass-throughs. Okay, so some form of bit of fabric, which we're going to use today, um, or a band or a pipe. And just try and keep your rib cage tacked down don't let yourself overextend there. And try and really take your shoulders to as much range of motion as you can, okay? Really scour the upper limits of the shoulder and send it back and forward as you go. Once you've done 10 of those, we're gonna go through five inch worms. No one needs to see another inchworm touch. No, I know. You've all got inchworms. All right, then we're gonna to start to warm up our power snatch, okay? Now, the power snatch itself is gonna be the main movement we're gonna look at today, okay? And we're gonna do it with the dumbbell, but you can equally do this with just about anything. Um, you can do it with barbell, kettlebell, any of that kind of stuff. So the basic format we're gonna do is you are going to take the dumbbell from the ground. Let's get do the full thing. Yeah, so we're to the overhead position. Now, the setup, we wanna make sure that if we just have a look at the setup position at the bottom, we wanna make sure that that weight Ideally, it's just a little bit back and between the laces, okay? We wanna make sure that most of the weight is sitting through the hip. We've got this nice flat back position and from the back of the head all the way down to the lower spine is in this nice straight line, okay? From there, we're gonna try and stand up and we're gonna try and shrug and send that shoulder up and then we're gonna receive the bar in this uh, fully extended arm position. Now, one thing we wanna really try and make sure we do with this power snatch is start to use a little bit of a dip, okay? So as that dumbbell comes up, we wanna try and get underneath it, okay? So we're gonna dip into a partial squat to receive the, the, the weight, okay? And this is gonna make it a lot more efficient and take less of the burn in the shoulder, okay? Try and make sure you're keeping that weight nice and close to you and just catch in that position, okay? So. The first part of the workout itself is gonna be 50 dumbbell snatches. I'm gonna turn and chat to you. Uh, 50 dumbbell snatches. Um, and, oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, and the prescribed weight for that is gonna be uh, 22.5 or 15, uh, but that's just a sort of a general guide, okay? Once you've done that 50, and the time cap for that is four minutes, okay, so you go really, really fast for that. So that's gonna be the first part of the workout. So how quickly can you do those 50 dumbbell power snatches, okay? And uh, last Monday, we did 30 dumbbell power snatch, or 29 for Rory's birthday. Yeah. So that might just give you a vague idea of how long this is going to take you. If you think you're not going to fit it in, in the four minute time cap, then either scale the weight down or scale back the reps a little bit. Somewhere like 35 will be a good place to scale to yeah. um, if you're a little bit slower on the dumbbell power snatches. As soon as the clock hits minute five, you're going to start part B of the workout. Isn't there a minute's rest? Yeah, but we're, yeah, yeah. So the, the time cap is four minutes, the clock keeps running. At five minutes, we're then going to do 11 power snatches, okay? you then got the rest of that minute to rest. When the clock hits the next minute, you're going to do 12, and you're going to keep going up every minute on the minute, ascending in the reps, until you can't fit that amount of power snatches into the minute, okay? So, might be quite a long one, this one, okay? Pace yourself on it, we'll see how it goes. Um... It was an interesting event for uh, for for us to watch, and it was a really interesting format. Um, and Sam Briggs absolutely knocked out of the park and got to two hundred eleven total reps across. It was like four 
40 or 50 more than anybody else got. Yeah, she was amazing. It, it, was way, it was way ahead of any of the little ladies, way ahead of any of the men. It was really, really impressive. So well worth a watch if you get a chance, event two from the Rogue Invitational. And then watch it and then do it. It's yeah. going to be great. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, give it a shot if you can. Right. Thanks so much, guys. And thanks for all your suggestions. We're following lots of things up at the moment. Yeah, it's awesome. It's been really good. Okay. Right. Have a good evening, guys. Bye. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Oh.